I caught the straight right here, the blue barb right here. It says Jack the Ripper right here. Bam, on it. it Rollers are pulling them back. Look at that. Imagine that. You get three rollers. Four rollers in there. You got four in there. Oh, you got another one going in. Alright, guys. Just got back from the auction. And I had Tosti Birmingham's over there just for the fun of it. And I know that Jack tossed his stock of birds. And some of my Birmingham's went in there. But I come back. And my birds were up at the time. And I was hoping that they smacked. But they didn't. His birds was way higher than mine. And mine had flown already this morning, so they were high. It was super high, but not as high as his. So they never hit. His birds hung around for a while. Two of my birdmen has one of his stock. But we were at the auction, and, um, you know, I thought, you know, maybe he's, he's going to take one with him. I don't know. So I come back, and I got a blue down. He brought a whole bunch of blues like that. So that's got to be Jack's bird right there. See right there, bugging? He got a pink band. I ain't got no pink bands. Look at him right there with the pink band. Check it out, guys. Right there. Pink band, see that? So somehow, some way, maybe my Birmingham pulled out and this pulled out with it. I have no idea, man. I came back, the bird is already down. So I set the trap. As you can see, the trap is set right there. And the birds ain't hungry. They don't eat at this time, but I'm gonna see if uh if we get this bird. I mean that'll be straight number 18, guys. 18. There's a blue right there, blue bar, tip little homer. I don't know if it's mixed it like it's mixed homer. I don't know. Probably not mixed. Maybe it is mixed. I don't know. It's a big tiplet. It could just be a big tiplet. Not mixed. You know what I mean? I got to look at the eyes and everything. But um, I got him down. He's bugging. He's comfortable. And I almost didn't see him because I got blues like that. But when I saw the pink band, I said, oh, that ain't mine. You know what I mean? And I'm hearing a lot of crows and stuff. So I hope the Cooper don't pass by. But I'm going to try to catch this bird. All right? Let's see what happens, guys. Later. So here's what I did, guys. So I went to the coop. Some birds came out. I'm glad they didn't clap off. But I went to the coop. I opened up the, the top access door right there where that blue flew over there so access door up there that bird kept trying to go in to the access door that was closed so maybe he'll go in now he goes back over there so that's the plan because you know he has to come down to the floor so he goes on that screen again he don't see birds in there he don't go in because he's trying to get made it it's a buggy shot oh man that bird had to clap on he's just about to go to the spot i want to go in let's see if they come back down man and i clap off Okay, so there you go, guys. The bird's about to go in right there. I opened the access door. Bird bugged them out. See him right there? He's fighting the bird, trying to get in. The auction today, I just tossed the Birmingham's over there just, you know, for fun. Because I'm not too far away from there. So I let out Birmingham's. There was some Birmingham still lingering. That are not so smart, so they were just lingering around. Plus, they, you know, they knew Birmingham's. I never took over there. So, two of them got into, uh, after I did the tossing, Jack the Ripper came and he threw out, like, I don't know, 30, 40 birds. I don't know how much it was. It was a lot of blues. Okay, this is straight number 18, guys. I got him. He went in through the access door. Number 18, right there. So, Blue Barb, you know, he ain't got white eyes, but he ain't got red eyes neither. He got the. Uh, Canadian eye but yeah this is one of his birds right there so he tossed them and his birds took two of my Birmingham's with the birds but then they came back and I don't know I guess maybe my Birmingham pulled out and um, brought this bird back from the stock I don't know buddy and when I came from the auction the bird was already down and my birds were flying but we were at the auction it just didn't hit my birds weren't high enough my birds would have been fresh and they would have came out at that moment they would have probably went high enough where they would have hit them but I didn't know he was bringing birds. Otherwise, I would have made it more interesting and I would have brought birds over and we could have mixed in real nice. And, you know, and had some tipplers with tipplers flying together. See how well his birds do. But, again, my Bremen hands were lingering around there. You know how it is. They get lost even though I think they all came back. And if I'm missing any, I have to look later. I don't know. But anyway, either way, I caught the straight right here. This blue barb right here. It says Jack the Ripper right here. Bam, on it. And then it has this pink band with numbers on it, you know. And it's a 2024 bird. All right. So he lost one. Jack, if you want it back, you're more than welcome to have it back. But this is one of the birds you brought out. And uh, for whatever reason, I caught it. You know, a bird should be smarter than that and go home. I mean, it's not that far from where you are to the auction. So uh, that's about three and a half to four miles from the auction. So it should have went back. 
Maybe there's one of the new ones that you toss. Maybe that's what it is. Sometimes it doesn't mean the bird is not smart. It's just that that's the first toss and he just followed the bird while they were there. But again, the birds kept coming back and they were, they were super high at the end. I don't know what happened, but when I came back, I caught it right here, guys. Check it out. Look at the eye on that bird. See that? You got like the Canadian looking eye. It's like reddish with white. You know what I mean? See that? You got it real good. You know, I don't know if it's mixed home or if it's pure. I don't know. It looks more like he has a little bit of homer in it or something. You know what I mean? I don't know. I didn't breed the bird. Only the guy that bred him knows. Okay? But anyway, and it doesn't mean it has homer in it. It's probably just a big tippler. You know what I mean? He's not that big. He's a little big. You know what I mean? He got that, you know, he's still a tippler. You know what I mean? No matter what, it's not a homer. But yeah, there you go. Check it out, guys. Strain number 18, man. Just wanted to show you guys that. I didn't catch it with the traditional. Uh, trap just uh, like I said it wanted to go in through the top kept looking at that access door so what I did is I said you want to be open the access door Yo, as soon as he saw it open he ran in and I was that you saw it got him got him baby number 18 all right there it is guys right there screen number 18 right there it, it's a cock definitely a male bird he was trying he was trying to get mated to some of my grizzles like bad, I don't know if he keeps them separated, the cocks in the hands, I don't know what he does, but bird badly wants a mate. Looking for love, man. There you go. Jack the Ripper. Jack, you want your bird back? You have it back. Not a problem. It's just all in the fun and catching the bird. That's the fun. You know what I mean? When you catch him, that's what it's all about. And he's hungry too. You know I mean, I know how it is. I take my birds out hungry too because they don't eat in the morning. So you probably got the same schedule like I do with they eat in the afternoon. I mean all right pink band clear band jack the ripper anyway guys I'm gonna shut it down straight number 18 thanks for watching later